going on YouTube? It's your boy Lanjo. I am back here bringing you another episode, part, whatever you want to call it, of this mini docu series history lesson on Rocket League in the year 2019. A little passion project of mine that I just kind of fell in love with. I just I wanted to showcase how important this year was to me in terms of our RL esports and what I think it means for Rocket League as a whole. Last week, we looked at the end of 2018, some drama going on there, WSOE and DreamHack Leipzig. Today, we're going to be looking at the frame of RLCS Season 7, DreamHack Dallas. Uh, this is all taking place between April and like June, and that's where we're going we're gonna to end it off there. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to start in EU today. And we're going to look at the EU Season 7 League Play standings. So at the top here, we see that we have Vitality, Barcelona, PSG, Triple Trouble, Dignitas, Team Solo Mid, The Bricks, and Mouse Esports. All from top to bottom there. The Bricks are the former roster of Flipside, so that's going to be your Cooks here, your Mystic, and Speed. Um, Mouse Sports is Alex161, Tigre, and a lot. Um, every other roster here is pretty noteworthy. The only one we might not know is Triple Trouble, which is Ronicky, Tadpole, and Casio. And then FC Barcelona is, if you guys remember from last video, Savage, which is Devo, Bluey, and Alpha 54. So looking at this, you know, Vitality, they, they find their stride and they... They show up. They they go six and one. The only team they lose to is actually Triple Trouble, I believe. Yeah, they lose to Triple Trouble in week four, and they dominate everybody else. They only drop six total games, three of them being Triple Trouble. So they only lost three other matches across the entire regular season against every other team. Uh, Barcelona does really well. You know, they show up as a young, nice, solid team. And Dignitas and Team Solomid find themselves at the bottom of not relegation, uh, but they're in the, the the lower half, the lower bracket of the regional championship. So there's some internal issues going on there. Um, some former powerhouses kind of falling and some new teams kind of rising to the top here. Looking forward to the playoff bracket here. The way playoffs used to work is the top six teams to go into a playoff bracket. Uh, fifth and sixth seed would play each other in the first round. Whoever wins that would then play the loser of 3-4. And you, you guys can kind of see what we're looking at here with the playoff bracket. So Dignitas defeats Team Solo Mid, eliminating Team Solo Mid's chance from going to regionals or to going to LAN. And PSG beats Dignitas in the lower lower bracket there. Uh, eliminating Turbo Pulsa from going to Season 7 LAN. His first LAN that he hasn't been to since, I believe, Season 3. Uh, so he won Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, and took second at Season 6. And so this is going to be the first LAN without him in a long time. Looking at the rest of the bracket, we have Barcelona beating Triple Trouble and Vitality beating PSG, and then Vitality taking the first place seed going into the LAN, and Barcelona taking the second seed. Yeah, the only real storyline here is Dignitas not performing, and this is going to start to cause a lot of internal issues that we will see moving forward. The rest of everybody here is performing on par with what everyone was thinking. I guess aside from T like TSM, Team Solo Mid was also slumping, and everyone was kind of concerned about the direction of their roster but we soon find out why and it's it's a similar reason to Dignitas just lots of internal problems switching over to NA now we uh we can see that the the gear kind of shifts towards like there, there's a favoritism towards the top half of of North America here whereas in Europe it was a little bit more balanced so we have energy going 7-0 which is absolutely insane G2 going 6 and 1, Cloud9 and Space Station, you know, in the 3 and 4 spot going 4 and 3 and 3 and 4 respectively. Ghost Gaming going 3 and 4 as well, but with a less differential. Rogue going 2 and 5. This new Rogue roster is the roster of Kronovi, Wonder and AJ. 
Um, Evil Genius is going 2-5 just with a worse record than Rogue. So they are in the promotion playoffs. This is the roster of Classics, Corrupt G, and Drippe. And then the newly promoted Splice organization, the team of Karma, J. Wizma, and Dude with Nose. Uh, just not performing very well in regional or in league play. So they, Evil Geniuses and Splice getting the, the knife there, sending them back down to the rival series. Looking at the NA regional playoffs here, we have Cloud9 taking down Space Station in a 4-0 sweep, sending them to the lower quarterfinals with one life left to qualify for the LAN. And in that lower bracket, they run into a peaking rogue who just came off beating Ghost. They sweep Space Station, so Space Station goes 0-8 in games in their first regional, which is absolutely devastating. So Rogue sneaks into the playoffs, NRG, Cloud9, and G2, the other teams representing North America here. Um, there's only one series that was not a sweep, and it was Rogue versus Ghost. So going into Season 7, NRG's looking really good. Cloud9's looking really good, G2's looking a little confusing, and Rogue is looking good for making it in. Before we can move on to the Season 7 LAN in New Jersey, we have, a, we have a couple things we need to take care of. One of them being the RLRS promotional playoffs, because both, both regions feature very important teams to the year 2019. And secondly, an entire tournament. So the end of league play is May 12th. The finals, the finals of RLCS Season 7 does not occur until June 21st because of a whole entire tournament, which is DreamHack Dallas. Taking a look at EU RLRS promotion tournament first, we know that the bottom two teams of the RLCS Season 7, which were the Bricks and Mouse Esports. The Bricks being Mystic, Cookseer, and Speed, and Mouse Esports being Alex161, Tigre, and Alot have to play against the top two teams of RLRS, which were Veloce, of, which is Flame, Freaky, and Niels Cook, and Complexity, which is Magnus, Greasy, and Flakes. Veloce went undefeated in RLRS, and Complexity did not. However, if you look at the bracket here, we see complexity 4 0s Veloce. 4 4 1, 7 2, 5 1, and 1 0, just absolutely destroying them. And then Veloce lose to the Bricks. So Cooks here holds his RLCS spot, and Veloce does not make it to RLCS. Well, not yet at least. Now switching over to NA, we see the birth of. Two teams that are still in RLCS. Um, so the four teams here are Evil Geniuses, Splice. Um, we've already gone over those rosters in math. But then we have Birds and the Bees, which is Mist, Hoxer, and Roldis. And the Peeps, which is Arsenal, Gyro, and Rattles. Um, so Birds and the Bees, if you can't guess, between Hoxer and Roldis eventually becomes E United. And the peeps are the, you know, they become Pittsburgh Knights and then stuff happens and then Gyro's still on the peeps now. Regardless, uh, the peeps and birds and the bees both qualify. They beat uh, Splice and Evil Geniuses. And yeah, they're they're really good from the from the very beginning. And they're, they're here to stay. They're here to make noise in RLCS. Now that we've taken care of the rival series, we look forward to the next installment of DreamHack Pro Circuit. Uh, we head to Dallas on May 31st. The rival series tournament happened the weekend before. So those eight teams are fresh off a tournament. They're hot. And we see some results from some of those teams in this tournament. The beautiful thing about these DreamHack Pro Circuit tournaments is that there are so many rosters that you can it's just open sign up. You can just you can get invited or you can open sign up and then bada bing bada boom you're there. So, you know, we got we got some some random teams in here that, you know, make make it fun. Just make the game interesting. For example, yo, Austin Roldiz and Ajax 
We know Rold is just qualified for RLCS with Mist and Hoxer, yet Mist and Hoxer are nowhere to be found here. Even like not even in this tournament a single time. So it's like the the group of players that can just kind of come together. It's super cool and it makes for a great a great tournament format. All right, taking a look at day one, group A, we have Vitality and Mouse Esports winning their first round games. Same thing with Team Solomid and Space Station Gaming. Uh, in the semifinals, we have Mouse Esports actually taking down Vitality. And then this Mouse Esports roster is not what it used to be. They actually pick up speed, or they're, they're borrowing speed essentially from the bricks. Um, so Tigre a lot in speed take down Vitality. TSM beat Space Station. And then in the lower bracket here, we have Method actually bouncing Space Station out on the first day and Vitality beating Yo and, you know, qualifying for day two. Looking ahead at group B, we're seeing NRG, Evil Geniuses, Dignitas, and Renegades in Oceania team. Uh, 3-0 every single opponent. Um, and then energy 3 O's evil geniuses and qualifies for day two uh, Dignitas three ones renegades uh, Renegades at this point in time. I believe is Torsos Kami and Zen since drip a left Yeah um, And in the losers rounds we see splice losing beating, you know Smith and then losing a renegade So an OCE team actually qualifies for a second day which is nice, some, you know, region variation there. And Evil Geniuses uh, makes a good run here and qualifies for day two, which is good for them. They just got demoted to RLRS, and I'm sure it was very hard to find motivation, but they find a way to make it to day two. Group C, I, if I had to put money on it, I'd say is the group of death here. We got Barcelona, Peeps, Upper 90 Esports, which is f first killers on that team, dappers on that team. Afterthought, I'm pretty sure has Shock, like Dino, and like other players. Yeah, Shock, Talent Tyler, and Dino. Like three players you should know. At, in 2019, most people knew who they were. Group of death here. We got like just insane. But Barcelona, Peeps, G2, Complexity, all 3 0 again. Just absolutely insane. Uh, Barcelona and G2 com qualify through the upper bracket, beating the Peeps and Complexity, respectively. Uh, both teams I, I fully expect to win there. And then we have Complexity and the Peeps qualifying to the lower bracket. Complexity is showing that they're a solid roster and the Peeps doing the same thing. Showing that these young guns can have what it takes to basically take on these, these bigger teams as well. Group D here, last but not least, we're looking Cloud9 and Icon taking their first round games. Icon beating RBG, which was Jacob, Rapid, and Aeon in this tournament. Just kind of trying out Jacob. Uh, Icon is actually another OCE team. That's CJ, CJ, Shady, and Express. Uh, we have PSG and Rogue. PSG beating Rogue and qualifying and Cloud9 qualifying. And then in the lower bracket, we got Rogue and Icon qualifying. Which are the four teams I would, like, looking at this, I would expect them to qualify here. Uh, they're definitely the four best teams here. Now we get to get into some of the juicy, juicy storylines here uh, for DreamHack Dallas. So we're on day two, group A and group B. This is setting up for the playoff bracket here. We got Mouse Esports beating Evil Geniuses, Dignitas beating Method, Cloud9 beating the Peeps, and G2 beating Rogue. After that, it's Dignitas qualifying, Cloud9 qualifying, things to be expected. Uh, in the lower bracket of group A, Evil Geniuses make a run and they take out G2. So Classics, Corrupted G, and Drip A managed to take out G2 Esports at, with the, just an incredible run by them. Below them, we got the Peeps losing to Rogue and then Mouse Sports actually beating Rogue. So, you know, the, the, the roster of a lot, Tigre and Speed, seems to be doing pretty well here in this DreamHack tournament. Now, Group B, we got Energy beating Vitality 3-0, keep in mind. Uh, TSM beating Renegades, Barcelona beating Icon, and then PSG losing to complexity like complexity showing up uh team solomid beats energy which is very surprising um qualifying barcelona beating complexity not very surprising here i feel like that should have been definitely the case we go to the lowers we got vitality beating renegades you know expected and then complexity sweeping vitality to make it to the third day complexity showing up greasy flakes and magnus just doing doing what they do best and we got Icon beating PSG, so this is the furthest uh, NOCE team has made it in one of these tournaments, and then they lose to Energy. Bad draw there. And 
the energy qualifies. So the eight teams going to the playoffs are Dignitas, Cloud9, Evil Geniuses, Mouse Esports, Team Solo Mid, FC Barcelona, Complexity, and NRG. All right, it's championship day, playoff bracket inbound. We're looking Dignitas versus NRG, Cloud9 versus Complexity, Team Solo Mid versus Mouse Sports, FC Barcelona versus Evil Geniuses. So in the first round, we got Dignitas sweeping NRG. So NRG bounced out probably earlier than they would have liked. Cloud9 sweeping complexity, so puts an end to that. Puts an end to that Cinderella run. TSM beating Mouse Sports 3-2. And Evil Geniuses actually beating Barcelona, making a top four finish for a team freshly demoted to the rival series. Of course they lose to TSM in the semis, but you know, you can't you can't win them all, Evil Geniuses. And you guys learned that the hard way. And then Cloud9 beating Dig, setting up the grand final of Cloud9 versus Team Solo Mid. There's no better way to view the events of a grand final than to watch them. So here are some of the highlights of C9 versus TSM. Dreamhack Dallas. Play on the pitch right now. Cars bumping into each other. Torment up high for this on the backboard. Torment doesn't have the touch, but the rebound is gimmicks. And he's Torment who scores. Cloud9 have the lead. Torment can't get this double tap, but watch, he lands, jumps out, and gets the dunk! Unbelievable! Torment stepping up for Cloud9. Remco looking for Metz. Gimmick slowing down, and now Squishy kills it. I ignite. He's got Remco on the wing, off the side. Remco has that touch, caught by Torment on the backboard. Torment carrying this, trying to get to his teammate. He finds Squishy Muffins in traffic, and Squishy kills it! Cloud9! To be as fast to the ball as Cloud9 has been. The overall resource game has belonged to them in game two. It, it seems like TSM has just been completely turned off by this Cloud9 attack. Nothing going for them. And time winding down, a five to nothing win in game two of the grand final. Well, who else other than Cloud9? Oh, let's make it six! Squishy! Oh, gimmick almost had it! By I Ignite. Maybe not have been in the net, but it was going to be a dangerous rebound. Now Torment, he takes this again. High ball. C9 intends to take these balls high from their own third. I Ignite makes a miss! Remco scores! TSM! Four goals! Backboard here in game number three. Couple of rebounds. Rebounds that you might not have expected. And TSM, like you said, James, roaring back into this series. A five-goal statement. They will not go down easily. Well, he's got nothing left. Remco, light touch, and it'll be an easy clear for Torment. Metanaris catches it off the ceiling. Calm flying in was I Ignite off the corner. Torment, he can't find it. Now Remco, oh, straight in front, TSM scores! Five seconds remaining! And the seconds winding down. Cloud9 trying to get out alive, but they couldn't. Torment missed that header play, and then the defender in front of that couldn't get the touch. TSM just have to hold on. Cloud9 need a miracle in game four. On the kickoff, Squishy gets it to the side wall. Metzenaris makes his job impossible. Ball caught by Torment. Pops it over one. They're not done. I Ignite kills it. TSM ties it hard. Remco back to Metz. Pulled up high. I Ignite looking for the read. He doesn't have it. Can Metz and Aris keep this in the air? He does for now. But flying through is Squishy and Cloud9. One game away from being Dreamhack Dallas champions. And the ramp. Pass from Torment. Shot from Gimmick. Too light. He was looking for Torment on the pass. Gimmick was cheating up just a bit. The pass behind him. But a good thought from the Cloud9 offense as they continue to rev up. Metzenaris around the corner. Torment, can he find his way across the box? Remco, he can't make it happen. Give it score! Back to the corner, Metzenaris. That's uh, straight down for Torment. Torment, can he go through? I ignite to Squishy! Clear the next! Cannonball coming! Cloud9 score! And the battering ram of Torment. He says, no, you 
cannot clear the ball. I'll set it up for my teammate yet again. Morris. Back to I Ignite. Can they get some time to get two goals? Cloud9 clear it again. Five in. Not gonna happen. Off the crossbar and in. Squishy muffins. The muffin men. Cloud9. Three goals. Your dream hack. Dallas champions. Unbelievable from Cloud9. It's over. One second on the clock. Doesn't matter. Three goal lead. They have it on lock. Cloud9. Your dream hack. Dallas champions. An unbelievable performance by both teams. Back and forth this series went. Punch for punch. Blow for blow. Cloud9 scores five. TSM scores five. One goal games. Shot count even. It was a blast to watch. It seemed like Cloud9 was just going to stop TSM. But TSM responded. They made this a series. Even these final two games. Neck and neck. Cloud9 walking over to that DreamHack Dallas trophy. A long three days, a marathon. Dream hacks are not easy for any team. They fought hard. Give it up for Cloud9. So that's it. Dream hack Dallas concludes with Cloud9 beating TSM. 4-2. Squishy, tormenting gimmick still finding success after winning RLCS Season 6. And that's going to wrap up today's video. This is this is Part 2. We did League RLCS 7 League Play and DreamHack Dallas. I had originally planned on doing RLCS Season 7 LAN in this video, but we're pretty deep into it right now, and I figured I could probably make a whole video about that one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed a new uh, history lesson for the months of April to June. We're going to pick it back up next time, RLCS Season 7 LAN, and take you guys through that one. And uh, I hope you guys have a great history day. Make sure to like and comment on this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're excited for more Rocket League esports content. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye!